When you get a new Mac, a setup assistant helps you set up your internet connections, mail accounts, and basic settings so you can get started using your Mac right away. If you're unfamiliar with a Mac, this video will give you a brief overview of the basics. It all begins on the desktop, the face of your computer screen. Think of your desktop on your Mac as an actual desktop, the place where you run all your applications and access all your files. At the bottom of your desktop is the dock, which gives you quick access to commonly used applications. To open something, just click on it. Let's explore the icons along the dock. This is the icon for the Finder, which shows you all your files and helps you find anything on your Mac. Next is Dashboard, which has useful widgets like stock quotes, weather, and movie times, which you can access easily. Then we have Mail, the Safari web browser, iChat for video and text chat, Address Book, iCal, Preview for looking at JPEGs and PDFs, iTunes, iPhoto, iMovie, Spaces, which helps you arrange different workspaces, Time Machine for backing up and finding old files, and System Preferences. To the right of the line is Stacks. A stack is a folder of commonly used items. Your Mac comes with two built-in stacks, one for documents and one for downloads. When you download something from the internet, like a PDF, it automatically goes into the download stack. You can see what's in a stack by clicking on it, and then just click on what you want to open. Along the top is the menu bar, which lists menus for the applications you're using. For instance, this menu bar is for mail. Click on any item in the menu bar, and you'll see a list of commands and tasks for the application you're running. Let's take a closer look at the Finder and see how it works. You can open a Finder window by clicking on the icon in the dock. Notice that the menu bar has changed to show the Finder's menus. The sidebar helps you navigate. Just click on an icon, and you'll see what files and folders are available. You can choose how you view items in your Finder by Icon View, List View, Column View, or even Cover Flow. You can use Quick Look to get a closer look at your files. Just hit the space bar. With Quick Look, you can see the contents of your files without even opening an application. You can easily create new folders, name and rename folders, and keep all your folders organized all in the Finder window. If you ever have trouble finding anything, you can search for it with Spotlight by typing in this little window in the Finder. Spotlight will show you all relevant files, including email messages, dates in iCal, and web pages you've recently visited. It even gives you the dictionary definition of a word. Spotlight also does math equations. Just type in your numbers and you'll instantly see the results. A Mac is designed to work with the stuff you already have, like printers, digital cameras, external hard drives, and of course, iPods. If you plug in an external hard drive, it will automatically show up in the Finder. And the drivers for most printers are installed, so it's very easy to set up a printer. To do so, open System Preferences. This is the control panel that lets you set up everything on your Mac. Click the Print and Fax icon. Printers connected to your network will automatically show up. If one doesn't, click the little plus symbol and your Mac will look for any printers on your network. There, it found one. Just click Add and you're good to go. If you ever need more help, there's extensive help menus built into every application. Apple's support website also has online discussions, product manuals, and answers to many commonly asked questions. All new Mac computers come with AppleCare, which provides expert telephone support as well as global repair coverage. If you prefer support in person, you can go to any Apple store and talk to a genius. You can even schedule an appointment online. Just go to apple.com retail, locate your store, and book a time that works for you.